Hi everyone, today we will be talking about a concept in psychology which is classical conditioning. But before we actually go ahead and understand this concept, let's understand one example. Again, now this example is about the famous celebrity named Alia Bhatt. I'm sure you all must have seen her advertisement which is upon Viko Bajradhan, that is a toothpaste, right? Now these celebrities, they are if you are a huge fan of this particular celebrity that is Alia Bhatt, chances are very high that you would actually go and purchase this particular brand of toothpaste even if you have been using some other toothpaste all these years and you are very satisfied with that brand of toothpaste. Still, you will shift the brand. Why? Because it is being promoted by your favorite actress that is Alia Bhatt. Right? So, the television industry or the advertisement industry is actually making you purchase this particular brand of toothpaste through Alia Bhatt, right? So they are using classical conditioning, right? So we understand more about classical conditioning and uh, through the experiment and then we you come to know about how it is related to Alia Bhatt and the Viko Bajradanti toothpaste that I am talking about, right? So to begin with, the concept of classical conditioning was given by a famous Russian Ivan Pavlo. Now, Ivan Pavlo was actually trying to study the digestive system of dogs when he came up with this concept of classical conditioning. So, in his experiment, the dog was presented with the food. Pavlo noticed that whenever the food was presented, the dog would salivate. That is, the dog, dog's mouth would water. Later on, he thought, what if we could condition the dog to salivate in response to a neutral stimulus? So what Pango did was, he presented the dog with the sound of the bell followed by food and then the dog would salivate. Right? So this continued for few trials. That is bell, food, saliva. Bed, food, saliva bell, food and saliva. Soon what happened was the dog started salivating in response to the bell itself. Now the dog has been conditioned to salivate in response to the bell. Now why does the dog salivate in response to the bell? It's because he now understood that as soon as the bell sound is presented, the food will also be presented. So now he is salivating in response to the bell because now he is anticipating food. So the salivation is for that anticipation. The same thing that happens to us while we pass through a restaurant, right? We are not hungry, but we get a nice fragrance of something of our favorite dish and our mouth starts watering, right? So that fragrance becomes the condition stimulus. In this case, the bell, right? So the dog salivates in response to the bell itself, right? Now, when you look at this particular concept, which is being given by Ivan Pavlo, it is classical conditioning. Now, Ivan Pavlo has given four aspects to this classical conditioning. One is unconditioned stimulus. The other is unconditioned response. The third is conditioned stimulus. The fourth is conditioned response. Can you all guess which out of these four are conditioned stimulus, unconditioned stimulus or, or conditioned response? I'll tell you all. Now food is the unconditioned stimulus right that is it doesn't require any kind of learning right the person knows that whenever the food is being presented in front of him or her he or she will salivate in response to that food so it doesn't require any kind of conditioning it doesn't require any kind of training it is very natural hence the food is the unconditioned stimulus the salivation in response to the food becomes the unconditioned response our conditioned stimulus is the bell. Okay? Like the fragrance outside the restaurant 
is also the conditioned stimulus and the salivation in response to the bell becomes the conditioned response right now when you go back to this particular example the celebrity becomes the conditioned stimulus and the you actually going ahead and purchasing the toothpaste becomes the conditioned response right so going back to this experiment the conditioned response or the unconditioned response right the response that we are talking about will always remain the salivation first in response to the food and second in response to the bell right the unconditioned stimulus is the food and the conditioned stimulus in this case is the bell right i hope you are very much clear with the concept of classical conditioning and how it applies to our day to day life which is very well explained using this example that the advertising industry is using upon us in order to make us purchase the items or the products that they want us to buy right so tomorrow or in our next video we shall continue discussing about classical conditioning in further detail uh, for more such video on psychology do subscribe to my channel that is hashtag #sidebite if in case there is any doubt do reach out to me in the comment section below thank you